Thank you for coming. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. We just want to sort of ask you a few questions if you can help us. Um, firstly, um, can you just explain, I mean, you wrote your letter, but just explain why you want to be reinstated. Um, <laughs> oh, um, it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> These questions. Well, you know, it's just one of those things that's... Uh, uh, how to? I find it easier writing it. I thought maybe that yeah. would have. Um, yeah. Well, there's very sort of. You know, we look at your letter and sort of raise one or two questions. But uh, we're just trying to see how we can help. You know. Um, I mean, you, 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 was there a, a determining factor in, in writing the letter, time-wise, or the turning? Turning. I don't think. Um, it's hard to put into words, isn't it? Uh, oh, you didn't have a, you know, I've been gone. disfellowshipped for a certain time, so I must apply now, or...? Uh, no, um... Well, I, I, well, I've been in the truth all my life, so I know that yeah. a certain amount of time has to go by to prove that you are trying and going to meetings, so... Yeah. Um, I knew that that's what was expected of me. There's nothing else you can go by, but I... Um, that's all you can see. We can you don't it. know what is in my heart, so that I understand that. But it wasn't like, oh, but my dad said, oh, you know, average is about six months. Yeah, I think I've heard him say that before. That seems to be a, yeah. I would say, a misconception. Oh, right, okay. You know, that, that there isn't a definitive period. No. Um, but six months seems to have been accepted well, by many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not my dad. I just. I no, no. But it yeah. does. It does seem to be. Yeah. That, that we've experienced that before. Where, where the brothers and sisters feel. Um, but the, the, the time for reinstatement is dependent on, on quite a few factors. Uh, firstly, uh, the seriousness of the wrong, perhaps, and it might take a while for that to, to be lived down. Um, and you mentioned that the the evidence or the the, the works of repentance. So, so obviously the brothers and us on the committee need to be able to see that. Yeah. You know. Um, so, so I mean, thinking about that. Uh, firstly, then we really need to know because you didn't come to um, the, the original committee that was set up. Yeah. Because we did meet. Yeah. Well, you know, although you didn't show up. Yeah. Um, on three occasions we actually met. All oh, right. Um, so, and. Really, we we because the statement that you made to Bob and I that, that he had had relations with Robert, and you said that in your letter. Mm. So, so that was the basis for your disfellowshipping. Yeah, you yeah. Understand that. I and I did understand that. Yeah. That's why I told you really because I knew yeah. something had to be done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and when we're meeting, I mean, if there's anything else, and there might be something else you need to discuss, but. Please bring it out, you know, because um, we've had it before when something has not been cleared up, and then we've had to go back and have another committee and various things. So we really want you to clean the slate, so to speak, yeah. towards your hope. I, yeah. I feel like the slate is clean from when I broke up with him, okay. which is. I well, we might come back to something oh, there. Yeah. Okay. So, so what? I mean, with regard to repentance, then, I mean, how do you think that you've shown that you're repentant? Um. What works have you done befitting repentance, so to speak? What um, works? It's limited what you can do, but... Um, I've been to all the meetings that I could possibly. Right. Um, I've respected not associating with family and others. Right. Um, I've been able to pray about it. That's good. Yeah, well, that's one of the questions we would ask. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I feel like it is me. But, um, I re I realise it's between me and Jehovah, but I know I ha I had to tell you back in the beginning, and that's why I I told you because yeah. I didn't want to have it like. Well, I mean, you could. You, I mean, the, 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 I mean, it's commendable that you, that you did say. Um, I do find it hard. Whether you tell us or not, yeah, that, obviously, yeah. whether you tell us or not, it's still on your conscience. Yeah. And had you not told us, you'd be sitting here, not disfellowshipped, but. Every time there's a talk, yeah. Every time, a well, letter, and every time it will come up. Yeah. 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't have felt right about it. No, no. I think that's general, and for, for brothers and sisters that perhaps are in that situation, eventually they have to say, hold my hands up and say, oh, yeah. you know, I, I, I do need Jehovah's discipline. Yeah. To, to, be, to come in line with Jehovah. Yeah, that's um, how I felt. Yeah. But I, sorry if I don't, I, I I don't really know. I'm just I don't really know how much you want me to show because I don't find it easy even to tell anyone about like my utmost feelings and like you just you're sitting here like and wanting me to open up and I'm finding it almost impossible. Like okay. I've probably got a smile on my face, but that's not that doesn't um really say how I'm feeling. I mean, don't worry. I mean, we acknowledge um, you know that um, even if somebody was to come before a committee. Um, and try the rise out. We have to try and see behind that. Yeah, as so best we can. Yeah, I um, mean, it's, I know how it's hard for you because you're just, you know. We can see what we can see. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that. But I sorry if I can just put it across to you. Like, well, I, I've made it. Like, I've sorted it out with Jehovah. I feel. Right. Okay. And I, I just now all I can do is say to you that, and that I, I don't feel any, any, how do I put it? By, I don't know how else more to show you okay. than what all I'm doing at the moment. Well, well that's the like, problem. Maybe that's Gary or Bob as well. Yeah, obviously Ralph's um, asking about repentance, and one of the things is action. Yeah, so when you said you broke up with Robert, how long ago was that? Um, I, I think it was soon after, I think it was beginning of November, end of October. Quite well, I think mean, that yeah, before then. Well, look, can I just say um, that the, the action that, that we as a congregation oh, took was on the 7th of October. Oh, right, okay. So it was, I think, the beginning of... November then, November. yeah. Which means you were disfellowship and maybe you still carried on after. Um, I did only because I, um, only because I had a serious incident that happened to me and my family weren't there and I had nobody and I had to have, I was, this incident was police. Um, matter and I could, I was just at my lowest. Right. Okay. And you had contact with Robert? Only because of that. Because yeah. of that. Yeah. I had broken up with him. Yeah. I think I broke I broke I think I broke up with him a matter of weeks after I spoke to you, but I think what I'm remembering is that I did meet back up with him because of that yeah. time and then so I, I just counted that as a one. So it was in November, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, that's quite a while, which is, which is good. I don't know if you were saying it was last week. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? so that's, no, that's no, no. You know, that's good. Um, have you got any other contact with Robert? Um, have, you, have you texted him? Have you I was, him? I was happy him? to um, not text him. Yeah. He was the one that was more, I um, wanted contact with me because he was missing me and wanted to still be friends. Yeah. Um, and he was concerned because of what happened to me in October. He was concerned for my my welfare. Yeah. But only only that. But as far as you're concerned, the relationship between you and Robert is oh yeah finished. Yeah. And the contact is finished. Yeah, definitely. No Facebook. No. He's not on my Facebook. No texting. No phone calls. No, he's not. He isn't on my Facebook. And you're going to try and keep it that way. Yeah. I don't. I haven't got a pool. Other than I did care for him, but I'm. I feel like it. Yeah, that. I think you. Yeah, he was pretty smitten with you as well. So, uh, you know, it's obviously quite a serious thing. Um, yeah, yeah I, I thought. I. I, I don't did know. Did have a chat with me at one point? Um, yeah. Point, you know, yeah, yeah, he said. Yeah. Because he was. Because he knew the situation <laughs> and he didn't want to do anything that was. Not respectful. I didn't appreciate you weren't going out at the time. Oh, right. Him, you know, yeah. you were going out. I didn't appreciate that. And then I said to him, don't do it because you're going to put Heidi in a very bad, bad yeah. situation. Yeah. 
So he, yeah, he told me about yeah. your conversation, which yeah. was a bit. I did, um, yeah, I did put him off. Um, yeah. I said it. But there are sound reasons for doing so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I think he said he said I was a flat. <laughs> uh, it has come back to me, so uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't say that, but I'll, yeah, I can have a discussion with my team sometime about what I did say. That's okay. I don't. I, I don't mind. I've heard I, a few things. I was more concerned that the fact that you were a sister. Yeah. He was a wilder person. Yeah. And you would be Mark, which I told him. Yeah. I didn't know what marking was. I tried to explain to him what marking was. And I said to him, you know, it's really not good for a systemic organization. Yeah. Very well clear, you know? Yeah. Uh, but anyway. So, so the other thing there, of course, is that in any of these situations, um, and, and you know, you, you sort of clearly demonstrated it, but we should never underestimate our emotions. Um, you know, um, boys and girls get together. And Robert, I suppose, being a boy of the world, boys in the world are out for one thing, which is sex. I, yeah, I don't think that was in, in his agenda. I think there's... So was it in yours? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, no, I think... But it happens. I think we liked each other and we got on really well. And when I was, I was friendly with Rebecca and he was around there, we actually got to know each other before. We didn't just go. We weren't like <laughs> no, no, <laughs> whatever no, you may no. think of me. I'm not like no, a, I didn't know. We didn't. We didn't rabbit or something that. No, no, like I wasn't that. suggesting that at all. Okay, but um, we did care for each other, and I thought perhaps we'd get married because I knew it didn't. I, I really, last mm. thing I wanted was to be disfellowship, but what happened happened, and, and I'm not saying it was right. It was wrong, and that's why I told you about it. And like, like the right thing. It's yeah. not about I can't, it's like it's just it's not about sex. Yeah. No, no, it's not fine, you know. But sex comes when you care for someone. Even I did it the wrong way, but I yeah. but I don't want you to think I'm just going around and sleeping with everybody. Yeah. No, so well, it's good. There's like quite a period elapsed since you, uh, you know you and Robert have been together, which is good. So that is a good sign, uh, and we would. You know, encourage you to continue like that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Because it could put you back with Robert or anybody else yeah. for that matter. You know, it could could put you back <coughs> um, considerably if yeah. you were to re-establish anything there. You know. Yeah, and I do understand that. Unless it's a proper relationship. Yeah. That that follows through on Jehovah's guidelines. Yeah. It's it's really a non-starter. You know, I have to. You know, yeah. the stuff just said marry only in the Lord. Yeah. So that's the first. But also, you know, the relationship has to be chased. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that, that's whoever it you know might be, but it has to be with somebody within the Christian congregation. Um, can I can I just ask you something? The last time we had a, a meeting with you, it was Bob and, and Mike, Mark, Mark, and myself. Yeah. Remember? Um, is there anything that we we, we missed? Please, or missed? Yeah. Is there anything that we, we, you know, you did come forward with from from that meeting? It, it had it had been said that that you were smoking at one point. That was year like yeah. I mean years ago, and that was like maybe one or two. Yeah, I, yeah, but I assume it was years ago actually. I, mean, cause I think I did ask the question, and it never you never came forth with it. But you know, that it would not have even occurred to me to say it because it was so. Yeah. It, I hadn't been going to meetings for such yeah. a long time, and then it wasn't even a habit. It was like yeah. a social thing. Yeah. But yeah, so what you're saying is you were, which is fine, and it's a. It's in the past. Yeah. It's in the yeah. past. Yeah. So yeah. It's fine. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it was just something that we had asked then that that wasn't cleared up, and asking it tonight is cleared up. So yeah. That's fine. So it's all you. Well, the, the letter that you wrote, did you write that in the back of the hall? I, I wrote it at home and Dad, I showed it to Dad and he said, should, is, that your, is that your draft? And he said, maybe you should do, um, I need to copy because I just scribbled bits out. I didn't help you write it. Oh, no. no. <laughs> no. I did it on my own. Yeah. Um, we have, we've got some, a little bit of difficulty. Um, in, um, you mentioned sort of a relationship with your, your family. 
Um, but there does seem to be some association there. Is, is that like, yeah. like, I mean, if you call picking Hayden up association... Well, or brothers and sisters or brothers um, saw and parents around your house. Well, if they, if they have been around my house, it will be for either to help me because I'm struggling on my own to like housework or Hayden and I can honestly say there has been no social in like social eating or even relaxing my they do ha have to pop in and they mum and dad helped me the other day and I don't mind saying this to you because I know they have to they have a family responsibility to help me with immediate or urgent family matters and that's all they have been doing. Mm -hmm. They helped me uh, yesterday paint in my bathroom because there was a bit that Richard hadn't finished and my mum um, cleaned out my fridge. But I wouldn't say that was for a social matter. Well, I wouldn't say that's the uh, message of a family business. Well, I... So... I... so. Or just if you show me a scripture that says they can't help me with, like when I'm struggling with Hayden on my own, then I will understand. But I do not understand that. You went when you went you went down to London a couple of weeks ago. How did you get to him from the airport? I drove myself. Oh, that was good. No, that's fine. You're not sorry. I'm going to get angry, but you're not policeman of of my life. No, we're not trying to be. But you are. You're saying who drove me to the airport? Brothers have told brothers have told you that my mum and dad are at my house cleaning my fridge out. How does this make sense to you, brothers? Please be human. Please. I've been on my own for six months, and my mum and dad help me with my housework sometimes. I haven't been to eat with them. They haven't been to eat with me. Please show me when it says my mum and dad can't clean my fridge out. I'm, I can't deal with this. I've done the best I can, but my dad cleaned my fridge out. I can't deal with you.